So how can you drive more reviews? Here's Naka's Drapery. They're in Maui. Uh, they've got 11 five-star reviews. How can they continue to push more reviews to their uh, profile? So obviously, uh, I, I mentioned this one already, leverage some tools uh, to request a review after every service call. There are automation processes out there, uh, and we have one for our clients too, where every Friday, our clients email us, here's, um, here's a first name, and here's an email of somebody that we completed an install for this week. And we plug them into an automated system that starts to request those reviews. Works fantastically. Uh, leave a printed review card. You could leave something on there, and I'll show you an example of this in a minute. Uh, train your installers to plant the seed and deliver a world-class experience. Very important to have them plant that seed and mention a review early on. It keeps them top of mind. It keeps them, you know, to doing a really good job, you know, and at the same time, it already has the customer thinking about the experience that they're having with your business. Make sure you have a call, make, make a call after the service to walk them through the review process. You know, are you happy with our service? A lot of people do these uh, follow-up calls already or follow-up letter or email or something like that. Uh, but make sure that the process is easy too. I think it's another big thing here. Don't make it difficult for people to leave you a review. Sometimes that's, that can be uh, a bit cumbersome and people will give up. When it comes to positive reviews, you know they're difficult to get. The negative ones, fairly easy to get, uh, but we don't want those, right? Uh, build it into your company culture and then leverage some of these other things. So let's talk about that. Here's an example of a, a really cool um, review card. This is a, a dentist that does it, but just have a QR code that goes straight to a review us page on your site. And you, these are really easy just to leave. Some people do it on a business card size. Uh, I like this because it's a little bit different um, size, but you know, very easy to do. There's a link down there. There's already, you see how the five stars are already filled in. That's a nice little psychological thing there too. You know, we would, we would love a review. We recommend five stars, you know? <laughs> uh, and then of course the name, phone number, that kind of stuff on there. Uh, but these are these are super cool way to have uh, to give to your installers when they're finished. Make sure they they hand one of these to the uh, to the client customer. Actually, we talked about the different automation tools uh, similar to what we have for our clients. There's a lot of these different tools out there uh, that you can you know plug in uh, name, email, address, that kind of stuff, and it'll it'll send out requests for more reviews. Um, this is a really cool tip that I probably heard 10 years ago from a chiropractor who was speaking at a digital marketing uh, event. But one of the things that he loved to do was when he was engaging with his customers, they, everybody has a phone, right? Everybody's got their phone. It's, it's stuck to everybody. So one of the things he would do is he said, oh, hey, I see you got a, a cell phone there. Is that an Android or, or an iPhone? And that never ceases to, you know, not work where people start to talk about their phone. People love to talk about their phone. And once they start talking about their iPhone or their Android, you know, great opportunity for you just to say, hey, if I text you a little thing, you know, could you, uh, could you leave us a review while we're here? Or you show them that QR code thing, hey, why don't you scan this real quick and, and we'll see how it works you know, and get them to make that review right away. Um, Melissa's asking where you can get the QR code. So um, you can just go to Google and type in QR code generator. There's plenty of those out there. And then all you have to do is give it what uh, link you want it to go to. And then it will create the QR code for you, which is just a graphic that you, you know, then you can just do a right click and save as. Um, and then just just upload that to, um, to your, your business card um, provider of choice, you know, your local printer, whoever it happens to be. Uh, but actually getting the QR code made is super easy. QR codes have kind of uh, come back into fashion. And the reason they were, they were super popular when they first came out, right? But then everybody kind of stopped using them. Uh, 
the problem was you had to have a QR code reader and all this stuff. But nowadays, pretty much every phone that's made, if you just pull up your, your um, photo, you know, like you're going to take a, your camera, if you're just going to take a regular picture, it will actually take a picture of, a, it'll actually recognize the QR code and, and do it right from any sort of uh, um, device that you have nowadays. So, so it's, there's no special needs for it or anything like that, which is, which is really cool. So engaging people about their phone is an easy way to start the review conversation.